I told Monica something that Elizabeth had done, some professional misconduct. What? I mean, whatever your problems are with Matt, I mean, it, you shouldn't involve Elizabeth. No, you know, I don't care. I don't care, uh, Robin, because it's not my fault. Elizabeth really did what I said she did, and I have every right to tell Monica. But then Elizabeth ran off to Matt, and she told him, and he took her side, and, you know, he... He said that I was a bad person. Please don't tell me that you think I deserved that. I just think that there was another way to handle the situation than going after Elizabeth's job. It's not like she doesn't have a million people that are gonna fall all over themselves to help her. You know, if she needs money, she can go to Jason. Didn't he give her that house that she's staying in? Maxie, I, you're kind of missing the point here, right? You wouldn't have come to me if you didn't feel badly about what you did. No, you know what? I'm here because Spinelli bailed on me tonight. He was supposed to take me to that party at the Metro, but he decided that he was gonna do research for Jason. I can't go to that party tonight, okay? Because Matt's gonna be there, and, and what if I can't handle myself and I break down and grovel? It's Matt's fault. Look, you have to go to that party with me. Hey. Hey. I expect to see you here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Well, my patient is supposed to be flying in from Dallas, but his flight got canceled, so... Yeah. Oh. Where's your date? You and I decided to meet each other here. Cameron's having issues with Lucky being gone. And you didn't want to be introduced on the home front. No, right? no, no. Cameron really likes him, but you know it's early, so we'll see if the relationship progresses. Then uh -huh. maybe. Maybe, yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Let's get a shot. Where's the bar? You might want to pace yourself. What? Remember what happened last time you were drinking on the boat? No, I don't remember. Remind me. Oh yeah, yeah. You mean where we almost kissed? Well, wouldn't that be great if it happened again? You only almost kissed me because you had downed a bottle of champagne. Yeah. Or maybe it was two. Yeah, maybe I was just using that as an excuse. No, no, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you were drunk. Otherwise, you wouldn't have passed out. Ah, uh, people exaggerate. I was, that was, that was rest, resting. <laughs> Please. You're lucky you don't remember most of that night. I wish I could forget Lisa throwing me overboard to drown. What is it that you want me to do? I told you, just go to that party with me. I can't. No, tell Maxie, Maxie I am in the middle. Mistake. And, and, and to tell him that, yes, okay, maybe I went a teeny tiny bit too far with the whole Elizabeth thing, but that doesn't make me a bad person. Look, even if I could go, which I can't, I cannot make things right between you and Matt or Elizabeth. You have to do that yourself. So you really won't go to the party with me? No. Hey, Ewan, it's me, Elizabeth. Just wanted to call you to make sure we didn't get our wires crossed. Thought we had agreed to meet here at the party. Well, I'm here. I'm actually in the lounge right next to the elevator. Well, I hope to see you. Okay, bye. Keen Zenosho. <sighs> Looks like he's running a little late. Because I needed to keep such a beautiful woman waiting. <sighs> Matt. Look, if I were the one to have asked you, and if I were late, would you wait for me? So how's the research going? Do you think the patient in Dallas is gonna be the one to prove your theory? Why do you always do that? Do what? I ask you something personal and you change the subject. If I were the one to have asked you first, uh, would you have gone with me? I told you I don't wanna be the one to come between you and Maxie. Mm. It's a little too late for that, no? Do you think we should go inside now? You've put two and two together, I hope, right? Maxie is the one who went to Monica and told her about you because she was jealous of us. Oh, hmm. wow. That girl never misses a chance to make my life miserable. Just returning the favor. Gee, what a surprise finding the two of you here alone together. Like I said- You can thank me anytime. Thank you. You know, Matt was just waiting for an excuse to dump me so that he could go running to you, and you were just waiting to be the victim. Now, Matt can be the hero, and you can use him just like you've used every other guy that you've ever been with. I gave you both exactly what you wanted. Wait a minute, you actually feel like you were the one who was treated unfairly? Oh, I'll admit, I stepped in it. I should have known that you were setting me up. Okay, this is enough. You're being insane. No, you know this what? Elizabeth insane. pushed me and pushed me, and she took every chance she could to rub my nose in it. Should have known that she was setting me up to look like the bad guy. Setting you up? You told Monica I was stealing drugs from the hospital. Hello, you were stealing drugs from the hospital. You told me all about it, and we were trapped in that miserable warehouse together. Oh, 
<laughs> and by the way, not that you care, but she was completely useless. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have survived because I know how to handle myself in dangerous you know, situations. You're absolutely right. I don't care because the only thing you are proving right now is how childish and selfish you are. You know what's really funny about all of this? I was never even after Matt. Of course you wanted Matt. You knew that Lucky had one foot out the door and you always have a backup plan. Lucky might not have left if you'd stayed out of our business. Oh, you mean if I let you keep lying to him? Okay, I did not take Matt away from you, but I don't blame him for bailing once he realized how petty you know what? You have no you idea are. what I've done for Matt. I, I never wanted any part of that stupid magazine article. You think that's all I care about? It was all you cared about, yeah. No, you know what? You have been listening to her. She's been manipulating you. You need to you. just admit it and say you're sorry. What you did was wrong. Not in front of her. This is, po it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless. I bet you're loving this. Especially the part where you did this to yourself. By the way, until I get my job back, my full-time occupation is gonna be making your life a living hell. Wow. Sorry about all that. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing. We have been fighting for way too long and you just got caught in the crossfires. Yeah. Yeah. So is she right about all that? Be nice to me just to get back at her? Absolutely not. I consider you a friend. 